in this quick video, I'm going to check out the Autocast TV Mate Pro and maybe the Carlinkit HDMI to CarPlay adapter using an HDMI cable with Samsung DeX. Now, you may have seen a video on this channel previously where I used Samsung DeX with an actual adapter for Samsung DeX that was doing it wirelessly. But for the best experience, let's be honest, it's going to be wired. And DeX works over HDMI, so I thought can this happen with these adapters with an HDMI cable and the phone? So we're gonna try that out and see how well we get on. So we're gonna plug in first the, the Otacast TV Mate Pro. That's gonna to connect to our Cooper Born Golf car system. And we're gonna go into HDMI. Uh, no signal at the moment, because it's not given anything. And we've got the Samsung phone here. We're gonna connect that to the cable. You can see that. We're going to connect that up. It says that we are detected to an external display. And we're straight into DeX. Amazing. So now we're into Samsung DeX on the phone. So we're going to use the touchpad now. You can see we've got our cursor up and running. Uh, what we can do is we'll load up uh, the Google and then go to YouTube. And let's just play, um, go to our videos. Now, Audio is going to come from the phone, but you can go to your audio. So it says Christopher's referral applied thousand dollars. Bingo. Vehicle price. So, so let's go back in America. and let's find some lippy, sinky bits. It's a metallic kind of feel. So if you do have something that's quite external in the CarPlay port, it actually look the part, it looked quite nice. It's quite thin. It's a shame they didn't sort of capitalize on the LED functionality by having all those lines light up instead of this tiny little dot. It's a little bit irrelevant in terms of a feature. So not the best, the performance goes, it's watchable though. Really, really well. There's gonna be some delay because it's got to stream something across the, the AV feed, but do you think that's good enough? Is it a good compromise? Sounds okay. You know, what so what resolution are we running here? Being able to afford one. This is actually a nice, 480. cheap adapter that performs very well. Let's change that. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, give us a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. That's better. About this adapter from Soundstage, and I'll do my best to answer them. You can support the channel with a super thanks, along with your comment or question, or buy me a coffee. That's actually quite good, actually. So if you've got an Android, and, I'll see you on the next and you've got one. this adapter, Cheers. it's doing an okay job. You can, um, you can increase the screen between the different sizes on the Otacast. Uh, that's not a bad solution. Uh, so that's the Otacast. We've seen that uh, does a good job. We'll just connect it and we're going to go in with the Carling kit, the white one. So we're going to connect that up to the adapter. That's going to start up the adapter on the display. A few moments later. It might be that it doesn't like my car which is a known issue on the car link kit yeah we'll just try the other port don't think it likes it so we're gonna call time on the car link kit as not compatible with my born and say that the Otacast tv mate pro with a uni uh, hdcp 2.2 cable works a dream with the samsung dex the only issue i would say if you were to be using this as a solution for video playback and things like that is that the control input is an issue so you might have to have a bluetooth wand or a, a mouse of some sort or use the trackpad on the device itself that seems to work okay but it would be nice if it was using the, the pass-through touch but obviously you're not going to have that if you're using hdmi but if you want to use like a, a keyboard a bluetooth keyboard to your samsung or a bluetooth mice with the samsung you're going to get better control that way and if you were to be using it for gaming for example that might be possible uh, we're going to connect up this bluetooth controller to the app once it's finished updating start the controller initiate the pairing process uh, we're going to go into bluetooth and we're going to pair up the uh, controller which is now connected. Then we're going to switch back to Call of Duty. I'm going to connect this now and uh, connect it to the external display. Uh, we're going to go to apps and Call of Duty. Okay, now that's that. I'm going to stick with a low resolution for now, but uh, the audio is still 
not coming out. So can we get to the bottom here? Yeah, we can. Change the audio output to display device. Now we've got sound coming out of our speakers. All right, let's see if the controller works. Yeah, controller's working. All right, let's see if this is playable. Uh, not competitively, but it's uh, a bit of a delay. I'd say uh, it's uh, the input is definitely not brilliant. It's playable, but um, if you don't mind the delay, whoops. Yeah, that just shows you that. Not that good. Yeah, not brilliant. Well, you can kill some bots, but um, take that what you will. Uh, I really want to tap on here, but I can't. So using the D-pad again on the phone to come out of this. We do have YouTube running at the same time, to be fair. But uh, can I control this with my... Yeah, I can. So I can use my D-pad to control things like YouTube and uh, I can go through these menus. About two to three seconds on the audio track and the real controls. And I can play and pause. As well. Come back to the main menu and push this About two to three seconds down. On the audio yep. track and, the real and then I can go through these things here which is not too bad considering not too bad actually so if you are looking into doing something similar using a, a samsung device a it works b it works okay and the autocast is the one that's allowing me to do it so if you are thinking of doing something similar check out the autocast i'll put the links down below to the product so you can learn more about it buy yourself one and support the channel and enjoy all right, thanks for watching and i hope you found this video helpful if it has give us a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this setup I'll try my best to answer them. You can support my channel by sending us a super thanks on YouTube or buy me a coffee. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.